What's up, peeps? I'm at my mom's place. I was up in here. They're coming to see the old beast. Van's there. The kids are inside. It started up. I got these uh, these parts there I want to try for uh, the roof rack, which hook into here somehow. So we're going to try those after. I'm going to start up the Jeep first. So catch you soon. All right, so here we are inside the beast. Hasn't turned over in about two months. Really cold weather, so let's give her a go and see. Gotta love a Jeep. Very good. I'm gonna let her warm up a little bit. And that's about it. That annoying fucking noise of the door open. This is my gas guzzler. Can't wait to start wrenching on this thing. Got to get some nicer weather soon. But cool, I'm going to shut the, uh, the video down and try to get one of them uh, roof rack things on there and see how she fits. Alright, so I got one on. It doesn't feel as solid as I would like it to be, but I mean I got six and they'll tie in with the roof rack itself. I think downwards pressure, they must be pretty solid. But uh, we'll look more into that this this spring when things start to melt and I can actually get on there a little bit better and check things out. Kind of dinged up the paint there, but I'm going to uh, to repaint this whole thing eventually anyways, clean it up. And uh, that's about it. Sitting strong, running good. Miss my Jeep, can't wait to get it out. Start working on it, fuck. In proper weather because I do work outside, as people know. Yeah, baby. Cool. All right, so we're taking the Jeep out for a little run. Got my wife beside me so I can drive. This is really cool. I'm really, I'm really tripping right now. Uh, we saw Dipanara. We're just driving wherever. I'm like, hey, I got some money. Let's go, you know, get a bag of chips or whatever tonight and watch a movie. And she spots out over there. That is fucking funny. Boom! The second time. <laughs> it's a fucking ass fart bubble. He's floating to space. Oh my god. All right, peeps, get you later. <laughs> All right, peeps, got Noemi's mom's here. She needs an oil change on her Super Civic. So uh, we're gonna get under there and change the oil for her. Just walking around with Jake right now. I got Bob sniffing around somewhere. Oh, there you go. Focus camera. Tu peux tu rentrer Bob après Jacob? <laughs> he should stay with you guys, but just make sure you see him. Okay. Alright, so oil filter shouldn't be too far. Obviously it's gonna be under there. She just got a new alternator and stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Young in the heart, that one. Okay. CBD joint there. I guess we're gonna go under, right? Oil filter, where are you? Oil pans there with the plug. And the oil filter should be up behind. So let's get her done. All right, peeps, filters in, the new one. It was nice because it was hand tight the way it was supposed to be, which was cool because mostly all oil filters are, are cranked down. So we're gonna put some oil in and uh, get this baby going. All right, well, that's a job well done. Oil change, a little bit under the top uh, hole on the dipstick, so that's about where you want it. You never wanna go over too much oil, it creates too much pressure and it can break things. So she's going to move out of the way. I'm going to bring the Hyundai over there. i got to check underneath. There's a flange that's going on this thing. It sounds like a little airplane, so check that out and see if I can't go to Canadian Tire and get something to fix it later. And uh, that's about it. i got to take the uh, car seat base out of this because uh, we got a new car seat for the baby. It's pink. It's a lot better for a little girl. People will stop asking us what sex the baby is. So cool. Let me move the Hyundai over there. Get you guys later. 
Oh my god, peeps. One sec. <sighs> All right. There's our palm. Right there. So, uh, pretty sure I can fix that. I don't think it's that going to be that hard. Looks like the flexible is still in good shape for a while. Got quite a bit of rust on the lines over there. But, uh, might swap all those out in the spring. Get my own uh, flare kit. Won't be that that hard to do. Just time consuming, really. And uh, that's about it. Car looks pretty rusted from underneath. Oh yeah, that's gonna be quite a mess underneath these rocker panels here. Hey, peeps, what's up? So. That's about it. I don't really know how to go about fixing that right now. I mean, I could maybe go to Canadian Tire and see if they actually sell a flange kit for a Hyundai Accent. Cut those bolts. I'm not sure if it'll come off or if this part is welded on the pipe or something like that. I can see. Check it out. I'm going to try to get under there and figure something out. All right, peeps, another another working day. Got my super helper with me today, Jacob. I'm working. He's, uh, he's gonna help me out today. He's gotta go inside and get his toque though, because it's a little cold. So we got an exhaust leak on the, uh, the Hyundai. There's a, uh, a flange. I'm going to attempt to cut the flange out and just put a solid pipe in there, because it isn't a, it's not a flexible flange. It's one that really just bolts together to uh you know to help if you ever have to take the exhaust apart you don't need to cut it you have a an area where you can unscrew but i didn't have a lot of money and i don't want to put a lot of money in this vehicle so i just bought another pipe that's going to fit inside the one i have hopefully i got two different sizes and then uh u-bolts that are going to clamp it down so i'm going to start it up clean it off obviously i'm going to move it over here a little bit cleaner of a work area and uh try to fix that the family is going to come out I need to jack it up and put it on jack stand so I can get underneath there and uh, work. So cool. Dad. Yeah. Can I go see them? I'll go get your back. toque. Go get your 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 toque so you're not cold. Can I have to I can go see my yes. friends? Yes. I'll come back. I won't. So as you guys can hear, got a leak. It's right about there. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's what we're gonna try to attempt and fix because it sounds like shit. Sounds like a little plane, I can't stand that. I don't even think the exhaust is coming out the rear anymore. If it is, if it is, I put my hand, there's like nothing coming out of there. It sounds like a plane, my God. I don't know if you guys can hear that. So, let's fix it. All right, peeps. I got the, uh, the flange area cut out. And right now you hear the compressor in the background because I got my, uh, air dremel if you want and I'm just cleaning up the inside of the pipe to get like that uh, access metal that's like bent inwards there cleaned out so I can get the smaller pipe which is right there oh. slid in tie all this up and get her done so uh, just for last so I'm gonna start her up straight pipe real soon and see what it sounds like all right peeps a little update still working on the car my mom went and got got us one of these Alfie, I don't know if any of you guys had one when you were young, but the kids really like it. Jacob really likes it. He's watching DSP and uh, Mario 3D right now. We had to run back to Canadian Tire because the pipe I got wasn't long enough. It was only like three inches, so I went and got the same size one. The only one they had a little curve, but at least I'll know where I am about when I install it. And we also picked up this little igloo type thing that goes over the... Uh, the... Uh, the car seat, the new car seat I got actually. It's pink instead of uh, like boyish greenish. But right now I gotta go outside and finish up my work and uh, I'll catch you guys soon. Alright, so this will be. Uh, this will be Hyundai uh, 1.6 Dutch. Completely straight pipe. I love it. It's fucking fun.
funny, I lost complete, I lost complete throttle response there for a minute, because I think there's not enough restriction, that's fucking hilarious. Alright, let's get this fixed. Alright, peeps, working in the dark again, but I got my flashlight right there, so I'm all good. Alright, peeps, gotta show you what I got going on. Kind of looks like that. I'm going to go see how much it's leaking. There's going to be a little bit of leakage. Might get my buddy to put a little bit of weld around there, but it's a $400 car. You heard what it sounded like before. Let's go try it out. Okay, lying on the ground. At least the weather's okay. Sounds a lot better, actually. Feels like it's coming out the exhaust okay. Like it's only coming out of the exhaust. Put my hand in there. Let's see if I can't feel anything. <sighs> yeah, there's a little leak. Holy shit, I'm zooming in with the fucking phone because I'm under the car. There's a little leak, but it's a lot better than it was. Go see my friend, throw a little bit of weld on there. We'll be done with that. So it was a whole about $25 fix instead of going to the garage for maybe $100, $150. So cool, another day in Paul's garage. Soon the XGA days will be coming soon. I'm ordering a lot of little parts here and there to finalize my uh, my lift kit and uh, body work. Body work like crazy this year. Three vehicles. This one. That one needs to be done over again and painted. And the Jeep has a little bit, so. All that to come, peeps. Catch you later, thanks.